people welcome back to my youtube channel um, Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen and uh, I'm going to bring uh, gold and silver analysis up to date and uh, today's analysis is regarding our alternate wave count it's a very inter interesting thought and I have done some analysis and we'll discuss about it if you have seen my previous analysis um, then it's pretty useful to see why today is uh, uh, going to be an alternate count and how I'm thinking that uh, it is one of the possibility if you haven't seen my previous video you can go ahead and see my previous video where we have done a forecast of a major crash that's expected in gold and silver uh, right in front of is uh, us is Dow Jones chart and I I'm not going to discuss this chart right in the beginning uh, but I thought it would be nice to uh, capture your attention and we'll discuss the chart in a bit. It is relevant, it's, the chart is not irrelevant to gold and silver. I promise you uh, that it's, uh, irrel it's not going to be irrelevant. But uh, for you need to wait to make it relevant, okay? Give me some time and then we'll look into it. So here is uh, here's the chart of gold in front of us. Uh, we have been, uh, I've been saying that we are bearish on gold and silver. I am bearish on gold and silver and interesting thing is happening we are seeing some kind of reversal if if you are a, even a bit of uh, aware of Elliott wave analysis you can see that we are kind of forming uh, completing the pre the structure the correctional it seems like a correctional structure this one right over here it seems like a correctional structure right over here we are f finally it looks like that we are going to complete it either there is still a bit left or it's going to be completed and then uh, the bearish move that we have been waiting will uh, actually continue on the question here is that in my previous analysis the, that I have done uh, we have assumed that uh, the low that's being expected the temporary low that we are expecting is going to be formed lower than this one price over here alright so we were expecting kind of this behavior that this uh, price drop will continue and that you're going to see a drop right over here which is going to be lower than the previous low and then a b jump up is expected and and then we'll continue downwards okay this is uh, you can see my previous video on gold and silver and you can see the chart what I'm talking about and will help you uh, understand what I'm talking about this is good this is good Th the alternate count that I'm thinking is the one major possibility uh, is one is going to be an important alternate count is that what if this low does not occur beyond uh, this point alright and if this low occurs right over here we have approximation date approximation date here for as well I think uh, we have about three weeks left uh, for this date whenever the date I think I asked for 19th of February but you can refer to the the previous analysis so if this d does not happen below this one right over here then it brings an important point right over here in that case the jump is expected to be strong all right in that case the jump is expected to be strong and now all of a sudden because the price the price did not go beyond the previous one right over here we can see that the jump is expected to uh, this would indicate the pattern that actually started from over here is not complete alright so if the pattern that started from over here is yet not complete and we have seen a low happening it means that then uh, the time after the completion of this low and till the the top that I have mentioned in my previous video the date of it which is I think another two three weeks down further over here has a potential to make a uh, uh, to complete a pattern this way alright this pattern would become this way if this becomes a pattern the low drop still is indicating uh, that there is going to be weakness in the market alright especially if you compare this to the previous long so this itself is a corrective pattern when you look at it this itself is a corrective pattern um, so in this regard we cannot call it corrective pattern it, technically it is a corrective pattern alright and I'm not saying the only reason is because the two tops are being created beyond the previous one so we have to uh, bring in it's still a tech it's still a correction there's no denying in it um, but we have to bring a bit of Elliott wave analysis structure alright and if this happens uh, in this is once again al an alternate count based on the fact that we are seeing a lot of push being made we have spent a lot of time in this region and we have seen a correction happening but we are expecting for a 
a drop beyond this point all right and if that does not happen then this is the alternate count so this is an important point that I'm discussing here and I've stretched my imagination uh, <laughs> based on this point and we are decided I've decided to bring it as an alternate count so now let if this is this becomes an a wave and this becomes a v b waves all right if this is a three wave structure and this becomes a three wave structure you can cl clearly say that this is a zigzag structure or a double zigzag structure for example a b c correction a b c if it's a double zigzag correction we can still consider it as a three wave structure this would be a three wave structure completing a flat correction all right and a three wave structure followed by a three wave structure brings us to a very very important pattern and that is where the chart comes here okay this is Dow Jones chart in front of you and for those of us who were if uh, well I wasn't a trading <laughs> in 87 uh, so I, I was just a kid in dude in this time and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys didn't even born in this time so but still then this is Dow Jones uh, Industrials and we can see that a massive a massive drop and this is a unique drop that we have seen is all it's 41 percent drop yes you can say 41.02 percent drop in a matter of nine weeks just in a matter of two months right from the top we can see that we have seen a massive drop all right so if you're not aware of Elliott wave analysis you can refer to it that okay this is what happened if you are aware of Elliott wave analysis then you can see that no this is only one part of the story the actual decline actually started back over here this is three wave structure and this is another three wave structure and we can see that this is another three wave structure this three wave structure is a flat correction this three wave structure is a zigzag correction technically it is a correction because it is part of the previous it's part of the pattern that actually started from over here and we but we cannot tell that it's part of the previous structure till we have seen this move this is how deadly expanded flat pattern is all right but expanded flat has three three and five structure I can only see a B and C structure so we can either call it I'm not gonna dare to call it any other than expanded flat all right we can say that wave 4 and 5 wave 4 is hidden uh, within this area so we can see that wave 4 is hidden on a daily time frame and therefore we can call it as 3 3 5 structure the last leg which seems to be happening in nine weeks is correct but the whole pattern took a lot more time and then nine weeks which actually started back in the July of 1986 oh no not July of oh, how much yeah July of 1986 this is starting 1986 and this is July so starting of July and then it's ended somewhere at the end of uh, September I think so this takes this makes sense then and you can say okay 40 percent drop happened but it actually it is not 40 percent drop that has happened from the top actually that drop happened from the top over here to over here since this is an <coughs> expanded flat this pushback beyond the actual tops is indicating that when the pattern is complete we are going to see a massive bull run and that's exactly we have seen all right now let's bring our attention back to gold in my previous analysis I've been saying that we have uh, yet not seen a major major bottom occurring all right so could we be actually happening be expecting something like this all right and that's why I showed you a Dow Jones chart so <coughs> excuse me so this is why I've shown you Dow Jones chart and that become, becomes history repeats itself so this is going to be an alternate count we are going to keep this in mind and I'm going to label it like this way okay we are going to start and we'll go back in the chart as well we have to correct a couple of things and uh, going back based on the pattern so we can see the start pattern here we have first wave we have second wave and we have third wave all right 
Now this happens, if this happens, this is going to be absolutely madness. Just exactly that we have seen in Dow Jones Industrials. It's not going to be 9 weeks. We are expecting it to be around about the same time, uh, about 5 to 6 months study duration. Alright, so it's not going to be 9 weeks, it's going to be somewhere around um, 20, 20, 20 to 24 weeks duration. That brings us 5 to 6 months. But still, it's going to be madness. A 40% drop from the top uh, to the bottom in a matter of uh, 5 to 6 months is going to be crazy. We have yet to see a bottom. Either the price is expected to follow the previous analysis that I've indicated. And this is going to be our main uh, alternate count. So we have a major count and then we have alternate count. As soon as we see a bottom which does not actually go penetrate this level, then our alternate count and we start seeing reversal, then our alternate count will become our main count. All right, and then we'll have to completely uh, get rid of our main count and then we'll see what else we can look at into it. So right now I'm seeing that we have a few weeks, next uh, three weeks are expected to be bearish. There's no denying in it, um, but whether we'll be able to see a bottom beyond this or not. So I'm going to reverse it a bit, reverse the chart a bit. If this is an A, a B and a C, it means the top happened here for the previous structure. All right. Do you agree with me that if this is the chart, if this is the pattern that we are seeing, if this is the pattern that unfolds, that means the top happened here for the previous structure. It means we can call it as A, B and C and then a correction, another zigzag that ended complete over here. So we have a double zigzag. The first one is very clear and a larger move. Then we have an X and then we have a smaller move Y. All right. If this is a three wave structure and we are expecting a three wave structure right over here and this is as a whole is a three wave structure that means that this cannot be a five wave structure as well. All right. It means this has to be three wave structure as well. So the whole structure starting from the top is a three wave structure, a three wave structure uh, ending right over here and a three wave structure. So this is called a double three structure in which we have a zigzag and then we have another zigzag as X and then we have wave C which is a flat going to be an expanded flat. If this happens it is going to be absolutely madness. So I'll bring on my um, silver chart and we'll, we'll ex I will translate the same uh, alternate count to silver as well. So let's have a look at silver. Excuse me about that. So here's the silver chart. We are expecting um, from our previous behavior that we are going to be uh, bearish. I've already given a target of about 10 ish dollar on, um, on silver and gold targets around 1260 uh, dollar I think 1270 I gave you in the last video. So 1260, 1270 we, uh, is a target for gold. Uh, and um, then in silver we're expecting about ten dollar nine dollar seventy five cents in somewhere in this range so we have to look on a smaller time frame see what we are match uh, missing uh, and we'll try to bring in our uh, alternate count uh, see if we c if things do not go as we have planned uh, in our previous analysis uh, which was posted I think three days ago two or three days ago so we were expecting for silver to be bearish. Silver has gone just a bit up and we are kind of seeing doji happening right at the top. So let's say that it follows. Let's say that it follows gold. It means a low is expected. And that low, this low won't be able to cross this one. Okay. So these are very important lows. This one and these are very important low. If we see a swing uh, in next weeks and uh, the swing do not actually cross the this one or that one and start reversing. In that case we can say that we are looking at a pattern that's this one. Okay. That means that the actually start correction of the start is going to be right over here. This is going continue continuing of the pattern and this is going to be the completion of the pattern. 
all right in this case we can see an impulsive wave and this is going to be a corrective wave as a whole and then we are expecting to see a deadly move by silver uh, accomplishing uh, i mean uh, accompanying gold uh, in its massive drop all right the here we can see that this is going to it was showing about 60% drop from the top so gold is going to be somewhere around 40% drop if this happens and silver is going to be 60% once again this is an alternate count depending that we are start seeing reversal when price goes down and we start seeing reversal all right in this case that uh, the alternate count which is uh, being presented today in gold and silver become our main count all right so this is a lot of ifs and buts to you but the major thing is that uh, we are still bearish from the top nothing has changed but this path is very very hard uh, especially in case of if you're trying to do long-term forecasts so we have our major main main trend analysis uh, our main uh, labeling that's uh, on the previous video you can refer that to main labeling and this is going to be our alternate labeling so once again I'll bring the chart in front of you the Dow Jones and if someone is not a Letitian or was not actually looking at Elliott wave analysis of this whole structure without that analysis you cannot explain this massive move of 41 percent drop within a matter of nine weeks this is not stock market then alright the only thing that makes it logical is that okay we actually the actual stop is right over here and then drop is this much and this leg is indicating that we are going to see a massive bull run similarly we can say that after that pattern in gold is complete then we are going to see a massive bull run so after this pattern is complete this double tops being created this one and this one being created beyond the start of the pattern would actually indicate that as soon as the structure is complete then we are going to see a massive a massive bull market all right which makes it very interesting if we can backtrack and then we can see that okay how the overall labeling needs to be conducted done just based on one pattern once again this could be far stretched it could be my imagination is maybe far stretched but let's have a look then when price drops in gold uh, whether it reverse starts reversing or not this is going to be very interesting in weeks to come wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye